Japanese commercials. Easiest money you'll ever make. <laughs> Grand Larson is right up there. You ready for this? No worries. I do my own stunts. Hey, you're just a ride along, man. So don't get all Hong Kong style in there. I am a method actor. If I'm gonna play a saint with any degree of emotional truth, I gotta make it real. Trust me, Burke. It'll be real. You're robbing a bank dressed like yourselves. Hell yeah. Who doesn't want to be Johnny Gett? Ultra postmodernism. I love it. I'm cool with the Saints movie, but do we really gotta drag this asshole actor around? Cut Josh some slack. He's just researching his part. Yeah, I hope he signed a waiver. All right, people. Nobody moves! Nobody dies! Burke! Sorry, jumps his line. Can we, uh, can we go again? You all know the drill. Can I get a picture with the boss? Say sleaze. Get in line, bitch. Hey, don't be a dick. Did you call yourself gangbangers? You're a bunch of pussies. We should be all up in their shit like... Fuck! Oh, that's different. Got a plan, and we just shooting all these motherfuckers. That is my plan. Works for me. Oh. Ah, ah. I can't breathe. <sighs> no way we're cracking this thing. Ready for Plan B? Yep. Josh, get over here. Got the tools right here, Holmes. So, uh, what's Plan B? Huh? We drill it. Fuck no. We blow it. What? D not cool, man. Time to get to work. Let's get the chopper and lift this baby out of here. Hey, guys. You can call up the helicopter. Found the way to open the vault. Don't touch it. Josh, are you trying to get us all jail time? What? I don't want to be some dude's bitch. Do I have to go after him? Forget about it. He'll be fine. is this? We paid up this month. Someone paid more. What happened? We got arrested. No, to us. Burke's right. We traded our dicks in for pussies. Seriously. Movie deals, commercials. Saint's name used to mean something more than body spray and some ass tasting energy drink. A brand's worth a shitload of money. Is that what it's all about? It's always about the money, Mr. Gat. Which is precisely why our employer wishes to speak with you. If you'll indulge us.
You have any idea who you're fucking with here? Of course. A remarkable likeness. These visions are Viola and Kiki, and I am Philippe Laurent, chairman of a multinational organization called the Syndicate. Never heard of it. Evidently not, or you would not have robbed our bank. Perhaps you wonder why you are still breathing at this point. Actually, I wonder why my foot's not up your ass at this point. <laughs> like it or not, Mr. Gatt, our organization is expanding into still water. I am offering you the chance to leverage your assets against your lives. Ladies? You may continue to operate the Saint Soul Tour Media Group as you see fit, in exchange for 66% of your monthly gross revenue. That is before taxes, of course. Listen, you French fuck. Please. I am Belgian. So make yourself a fucking waffle. We done here. And I had so hoped to come to a rational business arrangement. Just cover the boss. Go. I got this. Johnny, we're about to jump. <laughs> right on. I'll see you in still. Johnny? deserve that. Gentlemen, negotiations were less than successful. Viola and Kiki will spread the word. Steelport belongs to the Syndicate, and the Saints are not welcome. Mr. Kilbane, gather your luchadores and bring me their leader's head. Mr. Miller, hack into the Saints' accounts and leave them nothing.
So what's next? What's next is you go back to Stillwater. What? No, this is my fight, too. Girl, you don't get messy. Let us take care of business. Fuck you. I'm doing this for Johnny. All right. Well, if we're gonna bring in the boys, we're gonna need a new place. You're worried about real estate? We have guns. Let's use them. Relax, Shandi. We got it all covered. What you thinking? Some asshole is in my pool. The crew's ready downstairs. Say the word and we crash the party. Let's do it. The Saints aren't going to back down. Maddie, there's nothing to worry about. My thoughts exactly, Mr. Kilbane. The With respect, sir. I'd say empty is no longer applicable. Check it out, boss. What's up? Since this used to be a syndicate crib, thought I'd poke around and see what they left behind. All right, so what am I looking at? Safety deposit keys. Now, don't you want to know what it is they all got locked up? The syndicate will know we have the keys. They'll be waiting for us to make a move. Well, I guess then you better watch my back. All right, let's go. This doesn't seem like your kind of place, Pierce. What's the hate? Beer is cheap, and I'm the best-looking motherfucker in here. Look, you may think it's time to kick back, but I'm done toying with these bastards. I want Loren, and I want him now. So where is he? No idea. But 10K says he's hiding out in that big-ass skyscraper. Nah, Loren's a tactician. He's not gonna hole up in a building that screams, I'm a criminal mastermind. I need something concrete. To hit up powder. Nah, I don't have time for a stripper. No, Powder's a designer gun store downtown. I saw some of Loren's thugs talking to the owner. There's gotta be something there. All right, let's go shopping. Got a lot of people with guns in there. We'll go in the back way. You don't think the back's guarded? There's like two punks. What about the inside, motherfucker? Put in your tampons and let's do this. Oh, this can't be good. Minigun! Uh, that's a little big for you. Give me the goddamn gun, Pierce. Okay. All right, let's give that motherfucker what's coming to him. What the hell is all this? Philip likes his things custom made. And for his brutes, I am the master pattern, you see. Why are you still strung up if they already cloned your ass? The copies are flawed. They have my brawn, but not my brain. I can help you. The last time a big naked dude said he could help me, it did not end well. What could he do anyway? Those wires and shit are probably keeping him alive. Trust me. I'm still strong enough to kill Philippe. You want some clothes, man? No time. Man. Like I said, last time a big naked dude. Lorenz's office is this way. Damn it! 
Dead send express elevator to the basement. There's no way to catch him. Fuck that. We're gonna have to do something about the pink. You'd prefer a more manly shade, like purple? When I left Stillwater for the Senate, I vowed never to forget my hometown roots. My husband gave his life defending Stillwater from gang violence. It is my greatest privilege to honor him with this bridge. What the... spot boys Whoever this crew is, they flow pretty damn good. They're Killbane's thugs. Kill who? He's the Syndicate's tech dog. What he did to Johnny's funeral, that's over the fucking limit. He doesn't care about the rules of engagement. Yeah, no rules? I can work with that. You're not ready to fight the Syndicate. Watch us. Just relax, Shandy. All right, big man, what do you got? There are others who hate the Syndicate as much as you do. I will take you to them. Can you believe this? On my husband's bridge! No, 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 I will not come down. I am heading back to the hill. Book an emergency session. God damn it, this is war! Well, the DeWinters are keeping Zemos at safe word. What? The DeWinters are the twin sisters that run prostitution in Steelport. Zemos was their competition, so the sisters locked him up. And Safe Word is just a BDSM club that caters to various acts of perversion. The name comes from... Ah, we got it. Mine's Teacup. I'll get her out of here. Have fun at the Gimp Show. How are we gonna find Zemos? Look for the cat in here who isn't excited to be eating a ball gag? Or just look for the guy with the rhinestone Z on his back. Fuck out of here, man. Oh, well, shit, that's convenient. They went this way! Oh, shit. <laughs> they don't got time, Zemos. Mush! <laughs> Sorry about making you, you know, pull us around. This is a rescue, right? <laughs> this ain't some elaborate setup for a gangbang. Why you gotta put that image in my head, bro? Oh, I'll go with rescue then. <laughs> I would shake your hands, but them floors were a little sticky, if you know what I'm saying. I'm good. Find a moist towelette or something. Oh, what's up? It's 
found the guy I was talking about. You're not one of Loren's brutes. And you are not one of Kilbane's luchadors. No, but they are. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Philippe is dead, and we are at a crossroads. And the question is, who will lead the Syndicate to a new era? Viola and Kiki were Mr. Loren's right hands. I had someone else in mind. Excuse me? The Syndicate has to answer for what they did. And this time, we're taking the fight to them. Since we don't know Steelport, I brought in some people who do. This is Kinsey, Zemos, and Angel. The barbarians are at the gate! We need a general, not an ambassador! Calm down, Eddie. What did you call me? What would you like us to do, Kilbane? Something. Anything! Before I wonder why I keep you bookends around. Talk to one of these guys. They'll have things for you to do. It's our time now. Let's get this shit started. Shit all. To remind me of what Kilbane took from me. It keeps me focused. Eh, whatever works for you, man. I'm just saying, I like my place to have some working heat. So you hate discomfort. That's the sort of weakness that luchadors will capitalize on. Unless you harden up, Kilbane will crush you. But don't worry, I'll chisel you out of diamond. How? By making you experience the worst pain imaginable. Now come on. It's time for you to play in traffic. Right on. Wait, what? Johnny's dead and you're throwing a fucking party? Well, when you say it like that, sure it sound bad. I was saddled up in a human pony show. Will you see me crying about a little girl? I swear to God, I will shove that thing down your throat hole. Whoa, Shandy, we can't mourn Gat forever. Eventually, you gotta get back on the horse. No offense, brother. He's right. <laughs> whatever. Damn, girl! Life is for the living and shit! You know what I'm saying? Oh shit! These holes ain't holes! Hooker assassins? They came highly recommended. <laughs> Ladies, it was a pretty shit plan. Tell me something, Matt. Did you have a plan? How about you, Eddie? There's a reason Philippe left the thinking to us. <sighs> We're done here. <gasps> Kilbane! Relax. You only need one of them. Viola, your sun is setting. But it's not too late. There's still time to grab Apollo's chariot and drive that fucker back across the sky. You feel me? Yes, Kilbane. Ah, apology accepted. Hey, I'll come to a VIP faster murder bra. That'll cheer you up. A fucking tiger? If you're fighting the luchadors, you need to be ready for anything. A fucking tiger? Don't lose the message in the method. You mastered your fear. What the fuck is wrong with you? 
You're ready to face Kilbane, but the luchadors must still be dealt with. You know where to find me if you need more training. Hey, Zemos. Shh. Don't wake the bitches. You don't waste time. Well, if you were chewing on a ball gag with a horse tail up your ass for a few years, I think you'd want to unwind, too. Fair enough. I'm guessing you ain't come here for the pussy. Now, if the Saints are gonna stay in Steelport, we need the Morning Star out of here. I already work downtown, but these motherfuckers are everywhere. Oh, I'm here to help, baby. I know every track the Morning Star are working. We can build up our stable and hurt the DeWinter sisters at the same time. Sounds good. That, that is, is one, one ugly, ugly fucking, fucking painting. painting. You, you fucking Philistine. What you talking about? Since the Winter Sisters is original. But that 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 they mean the twins were all living in the middle well, well, seeing as how we just, just let them know, know we're taking, taking over their business, business. I doubt that, that deal's, deal's gonna, gonna hold. Shit. Remember the Pony show? show? I've been on that Christmas list, list a long time. time. Anyway, anyway, I didn't, I didn't call, call you over to talk about me. You killed for the little red and show the morning star that you are his stack. Time to relax and get loose, baby. Now, what party wants the work's done? I'll call you when I make another move against the morning star. And while no group has taken credit for the attack in Stillwater, we have ignored its root cause. Our uncontrolled media and the good soul to our children have fetishized gang culture and turned sociopathic madmen into heroes. No more! Those responsible for this act of terror will be found and held accountable. The Stag Initiative marks a milestone in taking back the streets of America. What the hell is the Stag Initiative? Mm, if it's free porn for everyone, I am down. So what's the lead? Oh, I got you looked up, Slim. Very discreet. That's an invitation to kick the Morning Star right in their collective buzzer. They have an auction tonight. Flash the car, you ring it. So what, I pretend to be an eccentric billionaire? Kind of. I'm gonna auction you off as a sex slave. Fuck that. Oh, quit being a bitch and get in the van. Pussy on that thing. Yeah, and once it's ours, the Morning Star sex operation is done. How you gonna move all the bitches? Eh, just let me worry about that. Now let's go. I want to meet my new employees. What the hell were you thinking, Maddie? It just seemed like a waste to lose all those girls. I am the general. I'm the Tsar! I'm the walking apocalypse! And I make the decisions, not you! My bad, mate. So, so what happens now? Ah, we battle down! We focus. We don't do a run-in. We hit him with a Montreal screw drop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Now listen up. My esteemed colleagues, the time is now. We have deployed Stag to Steelport. I didn't realize you were a patron of the arts, Viola. We never really had the chance to chat. What, with you being a science experiment? I wouldn't piss off the big guy. Look, I'm not here to fight. We need to work together. Right. Johnny's dead because of you. Johnny's dead because he thought he could do everything on his own. So what's in it for you? I get to watch Kilbane suffer. <sighs> you play nice? Like I'm always gentleman. What 
Zach? Nothing good. Let's go. Saints have taken cover with one of the De Winter sisters. We're about to move in. Roger that. Contact me once you secure the area. Yes, Commander. My name is Cyrus Temple, commander of the Special Tactical Anti-Gang Unit. I'm here to answer your questions about the STAG initiative. Hey, so how long, excuse me, sir, one question, please. How long will STAG be occupying Steelport? There is no occupation. We have the full support of Mayor Reynolds. How will STAG impact our daily lives? When we win the war on urban terror, you and your families will be safe again. Sir, that's not what I asked. Let me tell you about Jessica Parrish, a girl from Stillwater who ran away from home to be with her tough guy boyfriend. Jessica thought her life was pretty sweet until a gangbanger kidnapped her, threw her in the trunk of a car, and laughed as her boyfriend crushed her in a monster truck rally. If Jessica Parrish was your daughter, how far would you want me to go? Thank you for your time. What's up? You need to see this. Fortunately, this exclusive footage has come to light. And with us live, the man responsible, Eddie Kilbane Pryor. Thanks for being here, Eddie. My pleasure, Jane. And please, call me Kilbane. Very well. Kilbane, there are some who claim you're a criminal. No, no. Jane, my dear, please. The saints are criminals. Call me eccentric, but I'm just an entertainer slash businessman slash philanthropist slash... We get it. Where are they? No idea. They're broadcasting from an undisclosed location. We'll fucking disclose it! <sighs> I might be able to triangulate where they're shooting if you go to the broadcast towers We're and... on it. Gotcha. Damn it! What did you do? What did I do? I don't fucking know! Learn to fucking fly! You alright? I had him! I know, I know. It's not your fault. Something weird happened. Ah, shit. You can hit the light. It's... homey? I don't see a bed. Sleep is forbidden. What the fuck did the Deckers do to the chopper? Matt must have hacked into its flight computer and fried it with an EMP. You can do that? You can do a lot worse. If Matt gets the Decker U-Snap plugged into its central power grid, it's... Trust me, it's bad. So how do we nail the Deckers? If I could worm into their mainframe, I'd do all sorts of naughty things. But I don't have the gear for that. What would you need? Something like this. That's one of the most powerful learning computers in North America. And Stag's got one. Thanks for the tip, Agent Kensington. Ah, damn it! Wait, that punk kid is Matt? <laughs> that punk kid is the cyber god who just crashed your helicopter. Cheers! These people are probably halfway to the computer by now. Go! Oh, man! 
So you're set, right? Almost. I need a chair. I'll give you 50 bucks. Pick out a nice one. Funny. I'll explain it all once this thing's set up. I thought someone who just got out of captivity would want to live it up a little more. Not really. I hate people. Oh. Okay, so do you have anything on the Deckers? Not yet. Okay, then what have you been doing since you got out? Power leveling. You're killing me, Kinsey. I can't help you take down the Deckers until I know where they're hiding. So I wrote a program that tracks the user's physical location while they're logged on. That's... awesome. Just play the damn game and I can pinpoint where the Deckers are in real life. And now we're talking. You should be more careful. I saw you coming two blocks ago. Traffic cameras. They're everywhere in this town. Good to know. I'm serious. You should toss out your fancy overpriced phone. I can find you through that, too. Yeah, look, I feel kind of weird having a conversation like this. Totally agree. We should be using, like, that Navajo code dialect. Come up for air. I took care of the Deckers. Sure. Let down your guard and suddenly they make it look like you're selling secrets to Mossad and moonlighting as a dominatrix. We've created a big enough disruption for you to move on, Matt Miller. But if you want the Deckers gone, like really gone, there's a lot of work to do. All right. I'll hit you up if I need any more help. Remember, throw out your phone! <sighs> I'll explain it again real slow. I want to broadcast your subconscious into the Decker Usernet. Then you'll be able to interact with the avatars of users and corrupt the abstract representations of data that are the cornerstone of their online operation. To do that, I need... A Nemo chair, of course. A what chair? Nemo, neurological electromagnetic on gyroscope. The KGB destroyed the only one in existence. The Deckers have one. Impossible. How could they miss the signal? They're keeping it here. Clever. Okay, nerd time is over. What is this thing? And Kinsey, for fuck's sake, keep it simple. <sighs> I need the chair to stop the Deckers. Thank you. You ready to fuck things up in virtual reality? Safer than being shot at. You can survive a gunshot, but if your mind takes too much shock in this chair, you'll go brain dead. Great plan, Kinsey. I know. You ready? Let's do it. with the keyboard. Hi, Matt. Wait! I can clear your name. Prove that you didn't destroy that bridge. I'm sure Kenzie can figure it out. I literally have the world at my fingertips. A little vague, Matt. Gotta do better. You tell me the name of a company, and it becomes the property of the Saints. You get your empire back, and I get to walk away. Kid? Now we're talking. I really wish you'd reconsider, Maddie. These hands of mine were meant to rend bone, not hunt and peck on a keyboard. Well, well if typing's the issue, I, I can recommend some good voice recognition software. I, I, I know the best... Shh. You stuck with me when I rose from Philippe's ashes like a phoenix. You and me, we've bonded. That's lovely, but I feel it's time for me to move on. Well, to, to be honest, I'm a little scared of... Well... Dying. I do run a demanding workplace. Maddie, I appreciate how you shared your concerns. I mean, the way Viola and Kiki handled their uh, departures made me just want to kill someone, you know? Oh, absolutely. Well, I've got a flight to catch, so. Maddie. Oh, God. Feel free to list me as a reference anytime. Pack it up, we gotta move. I got 20k on this game. <laughs> Damn! Now it's a draw. This isn't over. So, 
It's not safe here. You guys clear this place out. I'll buy you some time. I'm Joshua Burke. Hey. On TV, I play Nightblade, an exceptionally good-looking but misunderstood vampire who risks life and limb every week to keep the world safe. The men and women of Stag put their lives on the line every day to protect your city against gang violence. Want to be a real-world hero? Talk to your Stag recruiter today. I know I have. Nightblade's the face of Stag? Why don't you just put someone in a fucking deer suit? Hearts and minds will win the war, my dear. Shock and awe wins war, Senator. Authorize the Daedalus, and this will all be over. Absolutely not. That kid's gonna get himself killed. Well, you ensure Josh Brooks' safety, or I'll find someone who can. Understand? Yes, ma'am. Huh. <laughs> oh, look. Pierce can read. Girl, I ain't gotta explain myself to you. Stag is using Nightblade as their mascot. We snatch the punk, and we draw out Stag. Set it up right, we um, get the drop on um, those motherfuckers. Um, 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 excuse me? Uh, can you, you sign this? The fuck is this? Dude, that's Johnny's comic. He sold his likeness to Ultor. They're making a movie out of this shit. Remind me to call Legal Lee about this. Thank you. All right, so how do we find Burke? The chump could be anywhere. Look, we lay the right bait, he'll come to us. That's why I need you and the new girl. My name's Viola. Your name's the bloody canoness. You can't be serious. Works for me. <sighs> I am Nightblade. I have no fear. I will save Marion. I will destroy Mr. X. Hey, you guys want to do some warm-ups before we shoot? You look familiar. Yeah. Really? Let's get out of here. Check the bodies. Get me Monica Hughes. They have Burke. What? Well, find him, goddammit! I assure you, ma'am. We'll get him back. Put the gun down. I won't run. Yeah, I'm good. I felt that the moment we met. That... connection. What? Forbidden love. Oh my god, can I just shoot this guy? Sean D. Play nice now. You got the stuff, Pierce? Allow me, friend. You did that on purpose. All right. Let's go stag hunting. the gangs in Steelport. But where to focus the firepower is my call. At least Burke and will hammer the syndicate for a while. Give you boys a little breathing room. How you want to play it? Kia, do you read me? I see congratulations are in order, Commander. Not quite. The Saints are still at large. I'm sending some intel over. I need leverage on the Saints. Bring in the target for questioning. They're going to run to ground. Digging them out won't be easy. If it were easy, I wouldn't waste your time. Understood, sir. I'll find her. This is the worst idea you've ever had. We can't go marching onto Stag's aircraft carrier. Why not? I look just like Cyrus. All I gotta add is a fucked attitude. What happens when you're on board? I walk in with my prisoners, they take me to the cell block, I grab Shandi and we leave. I'm sorry, prisoners? Yeah, you and Pierce. <laughs> I'm bringing you in. Oh, hell no! Showtime. Oh, 
Next time, you get to be the fucking prisoner. Quiet. Welcome back, sir. What's up? Uh, I need you to sign off on some prototypes I've been working on. Thanks for the offer, uh, you. But I'm gonna process these two ASAP. I can take these two down to detention for you, sir. Thanks. What the fuck, man? <clears throat> Don't you look at the commander. going in the book. We might have overdone it. Now we can focus on Kilbane. What about Stag? We just blew up an aircraft carrier. What else could they throw at us? Martial law, didn't you? I knew the Saints. How did Mayor Reynolds react? He'll fall in line. They all will. Keep me updated, Commander. Of course, ma'am. Sir, the commandos are en route. We'll have the whole city locked down in 72 hours. Outstanding. Thank you, Kia. Permission to speak freely? It's about damn time we took off the kid gloves. Two little words, Kia. Shock and awe. For. We're not walking in there until you promise to play nice. Are you serious? Repeat after me. Don't fuck with the mayor. Look, sweetie, I'll fuck with whoever I want to fuck with. I mean, who does this guy think he is? Mm. Viola, is this the kid you were talking about? Bert fucking Reynolds? Who else could keep this town running? Besides, I love my constituents. Sir, I am a huge fan. Excuse me. Viola says the Saints have the new game in town. If that's the case, I want in. Uh, yeah, great. W what do you need? I got a zombie problem that I want. Wait, a what problem? 
Zombies. You mean metaphorically, the celebrity-obsessed media drug masses, yes? This ain't Los Angeles. I'll tell you about it later. You knew about this? So what do you say, kid? Undead cleanup ain't exactly in our wheelhouse, but hey, we'll give it a whirl. Aren't you worried about pissing off Stag? You're acting like I never had to outsmart a paramilitary organization before. Call me when it's done. Oh my god, this guy is fucking awesome. Stop being a fanboy. Heard from my contact in Stag. There are three containers leaking the virus into the air. They'll have to be submerged in water to be neutralized. Think you can handle that? Mayor Reynolds, Stag gave me just the tool I need. Commander, what the hell are you doing? There have been some complications, Senator. Complications? Don't talk to me about complications. I want results. You want results? Then authorize the use of the Daedalus. Congress got on board. Homeland Security would never allow it. This is out of control. I am coming to Steelport. Zombies and Monica Hughes? Shit. All right, I am done fucking around. I want to kill Bane. You want to hurt Kilbane? You gotta hurt his reputation. So, what, we humiliate him? <sighs> Can't we just kill the bastard? Take Kilbane's mask and all that's left is Eddie Pryor. It's worse than killing him. I don't know, this is more Angel's thing. Kilbane would never agree to fight Angel. Well, he's more scared of Angel than me? Yeah, no offense, but you're kind of ridiculous. Relax. You don't look hot in a Speedo. Ladies and gentlemen, the Stillwater Butcher has graced us with their presence. You want to fight the best? You fight me. The best? <laughs> the best is beating Sway the Spider God in a Tijuana scaffold match. The best is defending the world title 13 times in one night. The best is winning a last man standing match with two broken legs! Trust me, little Icarus. You're flying too close to the sun. Oh, my God. Quit being a bitch and put your mask up. If you want to be broken by the walking apocalypse, I will gladly oblige you. Okay, so why are we here? Losing his mask is the ultimate shame a luchador can feel. I can't steal it back. I need to earn it. All right, how do we do that? We hurt a lot of people. Here it is. And it's the real thing? I know every curve, every color, every mark on this mask. Then put that thing on and let's go! Angel de la Muerte is reborn! Tonight's been a great night, and it's not slowing up, Bobby. An incredible night, Zach. And now, it's time for the main event. I can't wait. Let's do it. <laughs> there he is, Bobby. Eddie Kilbane Pryor, the walking apocalypse himself. You can't help but wonder how the Stillwater Butcher can't compete. I'll tell you, Zach, this psycho is a complete whack job. <laughs> You know, when he came out of the womb, this guy literally choked out the doctor with his own umbilical cord. He's that fucking sick. I'll be ringside keeping luchadors off your ass while you finish Killbane. Good luck, man. Well, there it is, Bobby. The Saints receiving no love here. Not at all. It is raining hate down where they are. And of course it is. After what their capo did to Stillwater, they're lucky the fans aren't knifing them on their way to the ring. Wait, oh my god, look at that. It's Angel de la Muerte. Angel. 
Joel De La Muerte, the second half of a pale riders, sometimes regarded as the herald of a walking apocalypse. The youngest wrestler to ever win the Super K Cup is here in the Steel Court Arena. History is writing itself tonight, Zach. After his questionable loss to Kilbane years ago, Angel dropped off the face of the earth. If you're a fan of Murder Brawl, this is shaping up to be the best night of your life. Oh my God, no Angel is out of the ring. I can't believe this, Bobby. This is punishing to watch. The luchadors are manhandling Angel. This is sick. He's getting kicked around like a sack full of dead puppies. Jeez, oh, wait. The Butcher of Stillwater is making his way towards Angel. How much can one person be expected to... Oh my God, a chainsaw. What the f***? Oh my God. Smile, Cobain. He won mercy. Oh, nationwide. Tap out. Oh. Holy oh. To be honest, it's a man with the receiving hairline. They got a lot of fun. They got a lot The Saints are still standing. What a night, Zach. What a night. Killing is just a match. Run for the reputation! This is my city. I am its Caesar! And I get to fiddle while it burns. It was a dark and stormy night. The heavens wept as I defiled Mother Nature. Johnny, we're about to jump! Right on. I'll see you in still. Johnny? They failed you, Johnny. But I never will. I'm your number one fan. For months, I've been collecting shit. Hey, shit. Sunglasses. Old chewed up gum. A greasy comb. I thought I had had... Steelport is safe once again. But who knows when the Saints and their new allies may be called on to protect her. The end. Cool.
question mark? I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch. I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch. I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch. This is weird. Um, excuse me? Oh, hi. I'm Jenny, and I just wanted to let you know that I'm so super excited right now. Is that a, a good thing or a bad thing? Oh my god, are you kidding me? My first feature, and I'm starring opposite the leader of the Saints. Well, I wouldn't get too worked up. On camera's more of a Shandy or Pierce thing. I'm, I'm having a hell of a time wrapping my head around this script. Is the script a problem? Just say the word, baby. We'll toss it. No. Oh. oh, it's cool. I'm just... I'm gonna need cue cards like a motherfucker. Brilliant! That's so fucking cinema verite. You're gonna kill it. It's nice to meet you, Mr. Zhen. Who is this extra and why is she talking to me? Oh, Mr. Zhen, I'm playing Quilana. Really? I thought we were getting a name for Quilana. Uh, no, nope. Just me. Well, uh, it's just fucking great. Look, Missy McNobody over here isn't gonna bring you down, I promise. I won't let her, okay? You just... Be yourself, you're gonna kill it! All right, let's shoot this fucker! Welcome to the craziest, wildest, bloodiest extravaganza outside of Jorez, Genki Bowl 7. I'm Zach, and you all know my tag team partner, Bobby. Bobby, previous Genki Bowls have had no lack of surprises. Of the nastiest sort, Zach, and this year will be no different. Murder, mayhem, and fun are all just a big part of any Genki Bowl, and the genius man cat has cooked up an exciting list of never before seen events that promise to be even deadlier than anything we've ever seen before. Oh, hey, worse than the Grizzly Bear Rodeo from Genki Bowl 4? There is absolutely no doubt about it. <laughs> wow, I'm actually salivating. Oh, my goodness. And as an added bonus, Bobby, we've just learned that the leader of the Third Street Saints will be taking part in today's festivities. Think they can keep the winning streak going, huh? We're about to find out. The games are going to begin, so let's get down there. And when I say down, we mean down. To the action! So what's up? <sighs> Heard back from Legal Lee. Studio wants you to do a screen test for gangsters in space. Oh, fuck that. We're done being corporate whores. So who's winning? What's that? Oh, shit! Oh, God damn it! What is going on? We gotta get down there. He's at the airport. There isn't much time. Angel. No, I can't let him win. We can't let him win. Angel, just hold on until I get there. Damn it. Hello, Shank. 
Yeah, 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 I get it. You're gonna arrest us. Big fucking deal. I don't want to arrest you. It won't solve anything. People need to wake up and see the threat that scum like you are to innocent people. Once you blow up the Magarak Island, the whole world will see your true colors. I don't mean to disappoint you, bitch, but the Saints aren't about domestic terrorism. We'll see how many people believe that when Shandi and Viola are found in the wreckage. Saw on the cameras what happened. There's bombs all over the monument. Can you disarm him? I'm not a walking deus ex machina. Use the stag sonic gun to knock the explosives into the water. And you? We'll be watching from the surveillance monitors. So don't screw up or I'll see. Right. Hold it right there. Unless the next thing out of your hole is thank you, we got a serious fucking problem. They have a point, Commander. Like it or not, the Saints are heroes. Are you shitting me, lady? You declared martial law and knocked down half the city. The Saints just saved a treasured monument. Who the fuck do you think the public will side with? Yes, I can answer any questions. Jimmy, over there. They can give you the key to the goddamn city, but as soon as you screw up, we'll be back. And next time, Stag is gonna put you down. Oh, I love you too, Cyrus. So what's the play, boss? We'll go back to banging in still water? Not yet. All right, people. When we started tracking down this son of a bitch, we said we'd follow him to the ends of the earth. And we did. <laughs> Kilbane is readying his army for an all-out attack. We will stop him here. Our planet needs us. Let's not let her down. Hoorah! Hoorah! I came to Mars to make a living. Keep my head down. Stay out of trouble. But I found something. I... <laughs> but I found something. Vine. Cut! Sorry, I... Hey, you get it next time. Everybody back to one. Settle, settle, we're rolling. Speed. All right, people, big smiles. It's a happy ending. And... Action! Fuck me. So here we are. Two titans among men, worshipped by mere mortals for bringing them blood and fire. This moment was an inevitability. So's me killing you. Ah, no, 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 no. That's not how this book is written. The saint's legacy ends here, not with a bang, but with a whimper. <laughs> Are you for real? It's over, Eddie. In two weeks, no one's got to remember your name. No one will remember me. You were a fucking clown, selling energy drinks and lunchboxes. You didn't care about the crowd, just a paycheck. And I changed that. Bullshit. Mark my words. When these hands are crushing your throat, your dying breath won't be an appeal to God or a message of love to your family. It'll be, thank you, Kilbane. Man, I'm gonna enjoy shutting you up.
Yeah. Was it worth it? You were right, Commander. Bring in the Daedalus. We've lost a lot of friends getting to where we are, and that's never easy. But at least we know that wherever Gad is, he's got friends giving St. Peter some hell, huh? Tashandi! Tashandi! blow up every building, we're bound to be in one of them. Fuck that. We're breaking their little toy. Steelport's sordid history. While the government has yet to comment on the attack, we have a report. No one runs, no one gets shot, understand? Sorry. Kenzie, you in the booth? All set. I got a message from Monica Hughes and her stooges. Dear bitch, Steelport is under new management, and we don't answer to you. This is foreign soil now. Come at my city again, and you'll go home in a fucking box. Back to you. Not bad. You could be a weatherman or some shit. Eh, I may have laid it on a little thick. Well, you did just create a city, State. <laughs> Good point. Hey, that reminds me, this place is gonna need...